And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat, and everybody on YouTube for some action Talia. It's our next donation deck. This one was submitted before the new cards came out. It's not Piltover and Zon, none of the new cards. This is our first time uh, playing with the new expansion where we're not playing the Financier and a Piltover and Zon deck. Let's get back to some landmarks. This one has two of the best landmark champions with Talia and Action. Action, of course, having that Warlord's Palace that counting down and uh, has the predict a really good quality thing for only a two mana unit and then of course it can uh if you get the warlord's horror countdown you get all this other powerful stuff so we're going to try that um pairing that with talia where talia can copy one of those cards so like if we have one of the warlord's landmarks that are about to count down we can copy it with talia and you know get multiple copies of it herald of the mangus is going to be good with both of our champions especially with the talia since we're playing Vandal City, we even get the Arsenal at the top end and a lot of other lit cool landmark cards. We don't have tons of... The the only problem here is we don't have tons of things to target to help level up Auction. Um, so we do have a couple of copies of Vagabond in here, which... Or by, you know, not really leveling up Auction, but leveling up your... Or counting down your Warlord's Palace and stuff. So the Vagabonds will help count down the Warlord's Palace. Um, and that's kind of about it. So let's go and try it out. We're going to be taking it on, on over to Ranked and playing our five games over there with Action Talia. Okay, so love the chemist. I kind of want to keep the naturalist. All right, so I mean, I guess Mini Morph is really good against Rek'Sai in the late game, isn't it? Hmm. Maybe we send these two back. I don't know if we should keep many more for that scenario. Maybe we send it back also. So I'm glad we sent many more back because we just grabbed two more. Wasn't exactly what I wanted. That rock hopper is a perfect draw here. It can block this hatchling for me. Mm. Okay, so they got their lurk in. That was a good round for them as well. Now they play their Xerxes Collar or Aspiring Chronomancer. And I think I'm going to go ahead and ride to the Arcane right here. I think this is a good um, good time to do it because now they, they just put something on top that they want to lurk. And now we're going to try to make them not lurk. And so hopefully no one drop. Just pass. Pass. Yes. Must be nice living off stolen coin. Preservarium is better to copy with Talia than the palace is right now. But I want to get the body in play. I'm going to keep getting bodies in play. Robin blind. I don't know. Passing's enticing. Okay. Worked out. Still got to do three damage. Nice. That's a great draw. Because now we get to Endless Devout and Preservarium. And then I can um, copy the Preservarium still. We're not forced into playing Natalia yet. Alright, so that was the card they tried to predict earlier. They put it back on top, so we can kind of assume that's going to be Pike. Could be Rek'Sai, I suppose. You know, probably one of the two champs. Yeah, we could potentially copy Sarcophagus. For a 5-3, that, that may not be bad either. Huh, that would have just been the exact block I would have made. So it doesn't do anything this next round. Where I do like how the Preservarium goes away. It's going to be a draw two. I think we probably just do the draw two. Because this is a draw two and clear board space. And I think that's important. Why 
wipe it off. So this should be the pike. Good card. Also a good card. Also a good card. How about that? Got some good cards here. Oh, tough choice. I mean, I want to copy this sarcophagus before playing these other things, right? Or, you know, I could, could go for, like, the Ride of the Arcane... Try to kill Pike, but then, no, we can't do that, because then they, they do the um, spell that puts Pike back on top. But I guess they wouldn't have... Oh, no, they couldn't, right? They couldn't play Bone Skewer, because there's no enemy to strike. So, actually, this is maybe not a bad spot for them. Because they can't Bone Skewer. So I get many more pike, and then I guess I don't have to block it. I get just many more pike and block this five three. I smell bad. So we'd have to mini morph it next round anyway. So I guess might as well do it now. Talia copy this thing now. Um, is that the best play? Yeah, probably. Keep your eyes on the horizon and your feet on the ground. Your feet on the ground. How do they have every bike? Yet another death from below? Stick around. That's Scum. Man, I'm pretty scared about this. There's a wrath. Not a chance. Take ten. Okay, so we're gonna need you to hit something good. This is block seven six. All right, we'll block seven six. Good people don't look the other way. Fixing the world one scoundrel at a time. All right, so we know their their top card is going to be that two drop that attacks. Unleashed energy. Find us keepers. That could be nice to have with like a an arsenal that's, um, you know, that has life steal or something. Oh sure, take your time. I love to be kept waiting. Glad to hear. I've never tried this chemical before. All right, seven keywords. Hopefully, one of them's life steal. There's life steal. No quick attack. Regen. 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 Good. I mean, it may be better to block here and then have this challenge a three-three. I guess. Yeah. Drop block there. You think I should challenge 8-6 and just trade? 
I don't see any reason to do that. Just keep it alive and then they can it can just block. Like we're going dead. Like we're we're pretty fine. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't really see how we lose this. Because we've already gotten rid of every single pike, so I don't think we can lose this anymore. I mean, we, we, can, hand, we can handle Rek'Sai just fine. We just do that to kill a Rek'Sai. Rek'Sai would have been fine. Okay, so they're going to do 9 Overwhelm. And that's cool. We can take 9 just fine. Again, everything's, everything's fine. <laughs> we have the Hourglass Arsenal combo, which is broken. Alright, so what's our arsenal now? So it has every single keyword and seven impacts. So I think we're doing okay. Yep, I think we're doing okay. <laughs> Alright, one no. Triple pike, not good enough. Yeah, so that was uh, that was the arsenal was the name of the card. So the arsenal gets a keyword for every time we have destroyed a landmark, and we have the combo with the hourglass, which doubles it up. All right, Jace Lux, I like. Uh, I kind of like this. The mini more like we should keep mini morph against Lux, right? I think we should. And obviously, we're gonna keep action into Vagabond. That's why they call him the arsenal. Can make tomorrow today. Let's go, people. Scores to settle, cooks to kill. You know how it is. Yeah, it doubles up because the hourglass resummons him, so he keeps all of the keywords that he had before, and you know, like because he summons the exact copy, but then when summoned, you grant. So then he gets all the keywords again, and it's just silly. You like it? I mean, shut up and fight. Yeah, I was also thinking that that, that was going to be their play, and so I should have just attacked with the action first. But then again, I guess they could have. Alright. There's not really any reason to attack there, also. Probably wasn't a very good attack. Okay, so only two for our arsenal. Only two so far. They've had like as many landmarks get destroyed as we have. at three out of four I probably still just take it just to have a four four blocker I guess you know like I I could you know not take anything but 
That is the saddest. Just has attack deal three. Do I have to mini morph that? Yeah, we could have just skipped the production, the prediction, but facing down two three threes into two one, I just felt like we had to take the four four. Tomorrow has never looked so good. I still have the mana to play the accelerated gates. Acceleration gate. To work if you don't want to be the lady of yesterday. You want a big boom? You call this guy. Interesting use of tech. Gate is a go. It's lethal. They're all lethal attackers. Really, you know, like two, two of them are lethal. So I shouldn't have kept Mini Morph. You know, we got really punished by drawing all the other cards that were bad early in the game. Send them all back. Okay, we got Endless Devouts this time. Best card in the deck, Endless Devout. It just enables everything else, it's a good blocker. Too well yet, though. Okay, that's better. If it's a people problem, I'm your man. Let's go to Vount. Hmm. Good people don't look the other way. So they're playing Ionia. Ionia, you know, has deny. And I'm, I'm sure they're being a 3x deny deck, like trying to be a Heimer Jace deck that defeats other Heimer Jace decks. Uh, you know, like that's something that's um, pretty easy to predict. So that's something just to be aware of whenever we're playing our cards is trying to play around deny. To have you last round right of the arcane to kill this whenever they just didn't have any mana available. Should I be mini? Maybe I should just mini morphed. But yeah, they go twin disciplines. Now they're gonna be able to make turrets and stuff. I was kind of planning on just doing that, then doing hourglass. Uh, right, like that was kind of my plan, but maybe I should just mini morph this Heimer. Kind of got rewarded. You think no other Heimers if they played that first? Otherwise, they should have played Heimer and then that to go towards the level up. Okay, we got the strike. Where are you at? You're at two. What you got for me? Let me know if you still want them science lessons, Chase. <laughs> Will do, Axel. Talk is worthless. We are what we do. My journey won't end until I'm through weaving it. I really didn't want to destroy a mana gem. Man, this is, these are tough choices. The great Vegas leads us to glory. Tomorrow has never looked so good. Should 
Should we give two plus zero plus one plus zeros? Make these, you know, like make these things five. Or uh, maybe it's just maybe just do stun. Stun, stun. I have three blockers. So yeah, they're they're pretty dead. Four blockers. Alright, they're still pretty dead. Last International Bay buys me a new sail. Yoink. Probably shouldn't block the overwhelm thing. But that will do. GG's. We should do this more often. And we're two and one. Alright, Vladimir Blom. So we want Desert Naturalist to blow up their landmark. It's not really a great action matchup. Hmm. It's not a bad one either. So I'm okay. So we're mulligating the one mana two one. Usually, you know, that's that's something pretty rare, right? Like we usually want to keep the one mana two one because we get the landmark with it and all that kind of stuff. Like it's a good card. But my plan here is action on two, attacking on two, and I want Shapestone to back it up. You know, if they play Crimson Disciple, I'm gonna want a, a Shapestone. And so, therefore, I wouldn't be playing that one man two one on round one anyway. So, like, the earliest we'd be playing it is, like, maybe round three. But we have, like, all the other three drops in the deck. And so, at that point, I'm just going to send it back and look for, you know, look for Desert Naturalist, like we talked about. And just kind of look for some other impactful cards. The Winter's Claw Strikes! Probably gonna need like mini morphs for like Braum and Vladimir and stuff. Maybe Rock Hopper's better. Yeah, maybe Rock Hopper's better. Sure sounds like a challenge. Yeah, that's the card that's just like... How do we ever deal with that thing? That's the thing about Palace. You know, Palace can give me a couple of predicts to look for... Uh, mini Morph for this thing. Alright, so this is a little greedy. Kind of assuming they're not going to have removal. And also assuming they're going to play another unit. Which I guess I could have just challenged. I could have challenged the Braum and gave them the 3 3, and that would have put the Rolling Sands. You know, that would have had this Rolling Sands go away. Remember the objective. Alright, perfect. Make the Empire I will weave my own path. Distance means so little when family means so much. Glad you can make it before your Victor Nami deck. I'm just gonna skip before they play stuff that you know, like that would be bad for me to see. Cool. You know, like they're gonna have like you know maybe the Death Lotus and all that kind of stuff. Let's just skip and kind of see what's up. Okay. 
Um, Shapestone or Hourglass? If we want a protection card, I guess Hourglass. You know, like against Troll Chance and Frostbites and that kind of stuff. I think Hourglass. I don't know, Shapestone wouldn't have been bad either. Mini Morph. Herald? Oh, do we Herald or Mini Morph? How much mana do I have? I assume I have seven, right? Six plus one, seven. So if I play, I could Herald and Hourglass this round. Okay. Chat saying Herald. Get out of here. I know what the attack token is. I don't think that's worth Hourglassing. I don't think. This is justice. But now I wish... I wish I would have the plus two plus one, right, that I could put on the action to try to kill Braum, but they probably have, like, Troll Chan and stuff like that anyway. Empire. Unleashed energy! That card's good. Gives me a landmark right away that we can destroy with the unleashed energy, or that can just just be destroyed. Right, because I just want more landmarks to be destroyed for the arsenal. I didn't really realize they had no mana. I could have just unleashed energy that and killed Braum, couldn't I? I didn't realize they had zero mana. Whatever you need, I got you covered. I guess that's my bad. All right, but that will do. Lots of big overwhelms, including Scout Arsenal. To a world without villains. And we got there. Three and one. Poppy Tristana. That could be pretty good. Ooh, Minefield? Minefield could slow down a Poppy, which could be pretty important. I could kind of see keeping all this. You know, like Vagabond get, gets us a palace. Like this keeps our palace leveling up. This is good with our palace. Like, these all work kind of well together. Oh, score we said they, they would send one Vagabond back. Hopefully we draw action for round two action. All right. But, like, three threes are kind of good against the Demacia decks, usually. Ooh, a Shapestone. That's good. Three threes are looking good against two ones and two threes. After we take millions of damage. Oh, I don't like that card. Some of my least favorite card in the deck is the Absolver, but it can just, you know, it, it can win you some cheap games every now and again. So they've been able to be pretty aggressive, curving out with, you know, unit on one, two, three, four, including champion. Kind of need to clear up room. We need a way to destroy this landmark. Reporting for duty. 
We're not taking it. We're taking it back. I just want more room for, you know, like, Talia copy. Our hand's pretty awkward. Oh, our hand's very awkward. If they would have played something first before attacking, if they would not have open attacked, then we would have been able to um, Talia copy the Hexplosive Minefield. But they did open attack, so we didn't get to do that. Either. I guess I, I really should have you know, sent back uh, one of the threes, or the Hourglass, or both. You know, I liked keeping one of the threes and keeping the Minefield. I should have just done that, I think. Mama's got a gun. So they have Sharp Sight, Tristana turns into a 5-6. Doesn't kill my Talia. You know, basically, you know, same, do we need to keep the Hourglass? Okay, got rid of those. And that's important to play something because now the palaces are at 1, right? Like, that was the important thing. And, of course, we kill Tristana. That's also not bad. Otherwise, we weren't going to kill Tristana. Let's see what they do so I have a little bit more information before my next predict. Let's go and play this one drop. Level up Talia. We can ride of the arcane, we can destroy either one of these. If this thing makes us a 5 3, this thing stuns. But I want a little bit more information first. Um. Naturalist? And give me a lot of bodies. Because I can naturalist like the uh, minefield. And then get a 5 4 and a 2 4, and you know, like, I'd have room for that. Yeah, there's no good block they can make. Like, the stacker, it still kills the stacker. So I'm perfectly fine with that. And my Talia stays alive. You know, like, that stacker is a problem. that kill me? Oh, because we still take the one. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. All rocks road eventually. Oh, Tristan doesn't have impact right now. That's how we can go to two. 
Was that right there? Just don't have any room for any of these other landmarks. I'd like to destroy this landmark with the Desert Naturalist, but that gives me two bodies and we don't have room for two bodies. Good, no rallies. No rally is good. Mini morph is good. I don't know really how good that mini morph is. This looks pretty bad. Let's make cookies. So I can mini morph the stone stacker, so then then my action stays alive. But it's you know kind of like to what you know to what thing like this thing gives giving everything impact can be really bad. I guess there's a chance they have no more multi-region allies because if they have any more, we're really dead anyway. We assume that they would already have they would have impact also. Well, it's not likely that they don't have any more multi-region allies with that, because we're already taking two impact from you know, if I would have kept that other thing alive, they could still two impact either way. I'm sure your speech will cheer us on regardless. If we would have drawn like the absolver right there and had overwhelm, if we would have had like Talia Overwhelm or like Harold, you know, overwhelm, if we would have had one of those instead of the mini morph. Alright, three and two. Good curve opponent. I made some wrong mulligan decisions and it cost us. Get there, come up and soon enough. So we just needed to draw the arsenal. That was the thing. You know, if we draw, draw the arsenal instead of many more. Like always, just have to draw the arsenal. That's the solution. But I think the deck looked good. I think it did. I think that we got to do some cool stuff. Um, I think Action is a, another good champion to pair with Talia for giving you some good early game. Um, you know, Action did look pretty good. And, like, the Warlord's Palaces were really nice to have. Uh, we you know, copied that a couple of times, get a good amount of predict draw, predict draw, you know, zero mana time tricks, basically. Um, yeah, I think it looked pretty good. Aggressive hand from our opponent, and I didn't mulligan enough. Yeah, he started out playing three of Arsenal, because, yeah, it, it Arsenal's pretty bad early, but it's just, it, it will win the, the games by itself. <laughs> that is the Arsenal, it will... It is ridiculous, and a lot of those games that we're winning were because of the Arsenal. Like, it's it's just the the card that wins. All right, but anyway, uh, that's going to be it for Action Talia. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button, and as always, leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck, and if you try it out yourself, how's it go? how does it go? If you have any ideas for improving um, or anything like that, any other um, you know questions about the metagame or about Path of Champions or anything else, let me know in the comment section. But... Uh, that's going to be it for this video, so as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.